Hello there, welcome to Digital Access Pass. My name is Veena Prashant. In this video, I'll show you how you can use DAP's Member Page Builder to create a member login page. Member login page is where your members can log in from to access their products. Let me show you how you can use the Member Page Builder uh, to quickly and easily create a member login page for your members. So when you're creating a new membership site using DAP, if you don't yet have a login page, DAP will recognize that. And when you go to the DAP products page, you will notice this message. It says, looks like you have not yet created member facing pages such as login page, click to create. All you have to do is click on this button and it will bring you to the member facing pages tab. So if you want DAP to create these pages for you, just check the boxes and DAP will create these pages for you. You don't have to create it manually. You don't have to go to the DAP member pages uh, to create these pages. So just select the pages that you want DAP to create for you and uh, give it a name. For example, if you want DAP to create a dashboard page, give it a name, login page, give your login page a name and my content page, profile page, affiliate page, member cancellation page. So all of this DAP can create it for you. You don't have to create it manually. All you have to do uh, is give it a name, click on click to create member pages. So here you can see I clicked on this button and uh, DAP has created all these pages for me. I don't have to create it manually. Let's take a look at this page. So this is how it looks by default, all right? So DAP has created this page for me. Now, if you want to change the image, if you want to change the text, go to DAP member pages. And here you will find a list of all the pages that DAP creates for you. Just click on the edit button of any of the member pages that you want to update and you can update the setting. This is the DAP member page builder and you can get to it from DAP member pages. It will bring you to a page like this where you will find a list of all the pages, the ones that DAP creates for you and also the ones that you create. So say that you want to create a new login page you can just click on this button here, create a new member page and just follow the steps there. Here you can see there is a login page button here. You can click on this uh, to create a new login page and a login widget. If you want to create a login form for your sidebar, uh, then you can use this option to create a, a sidebar login form. So if you click on this login page uh, button right here, it will bring you here where you can give your login page a name, enter the URL of the page where you want to send users when they log in. This is optional. If you don't uh, enter anything here, then DAP will use uh, the setting that you have in the DAP products page or in the DAP configuration. But if you set a login URL here, then DAP will always redirect users that log in through this form, this page, uh, to whatever you enter here. And there are two templates here. You can select any one of these. If you want to allow users to log in with Facebook, uh, with a click of a button, you can select this. But if you use this option, you'll have to create a Facebook app and enter your Facebook app ID in the DAP configuration. We have different documentation for login with Facebook. So if you're creating a new login page, let's say we call it member login demo and uh, click on this button to create it. Uh, login page URL, I'm going to leave it empty and uh, login template, I'm just going to select this one. It will bring you to the customizer. Everything here is customizable. You can change the image, select a different image and increase the height. If you don't want to display an image on your login form, you can always turn this off. You can set this to no, otherwise leave it as yes. And everything is customizable. Everything that you see here on this form, click and edit, you can change it. So you can see there is an advanced customizer here, the forgot password form, reset password form, all of this is customizable. So the way this works is if users click on the forgot password uh, link here on the login form, that will show them this form where they can enter their email, click on forgot password button. It will, uh, that will send them an email with the reset password link. And if they click on that, then uh, they can change the password here. But everything that you see here in this form is customizable. You can change the text, change the colors, all that, and save and next, that's it, all right? So now you have a login page. So if you want to create a login page like this, you can do that. You don't have to get DAP to create it for you. You can always follow the steps here in DAP member pages to create any of the member facing pages. You don't have to get DAP to create it for you. All the member facing pages, it's the same process. Just follow the steps to create a new one. And at the end, it's going to insert the short code on the page that you selected. So DAP will insert this short code on this page. However, if you want to insert this short code, this is a login short code. If you want to insert this on any other WordPress page, you can do that and you will have an instant login form on that page. So if you want to have a login form on any page, any WordPress page, just copy this from here and paste it uh, wherever you want the login form to show up. It does not have to be on this page. That's it. This is how you can create a login page. And uh, let me show you what happens if DAP creates a login page for you. So if DAP creates a login page or any other member facing pages for you, again, in the DAP member pages, you will find a list of all the member facing pages, the ones DAP creates, the one you create. And uh, say that this is the one DAP created for me. 
you can always edit the setting and change it. So anything you want to customize, you can always change the default. So whatever DAP creates, uh, DAP will use all the default options, but you can edit the page and you can update the setting. It will bring you to the customizer when you edit it. You can go back to the general tab, update the setting. If you want to set a login URL, post login URL, you can enter that here. If you want to select a different template, you can do that here. You can customize the setting. You can upload a different image. Whether you create a login page or whether DAP creates for you, it's exactly the same. You will find everything in DAP member pages. Everything will be listed there. You can edit the setting and change it. Now, as far as the post login landing page, as I mentioned before, if you enter something here, when you create your login form, DAP will always send users that log in through this form to this page. But if you leave this empty, then the way it works is if a member has access to multiple products, say that they have access to multiple products in DAP, then whatever you enter in DAP setup config page, member pages, post login page, this is the global setting. DAP will send users to this page if they have access to multiple products. And this is only if you don't enter anything uh, in the login page URL when you create your login form. So if you don't enter anything here, then DAP will use the post login page setting that you have in the configuration. But if the member who is logging in has access to just one product in DAP, then whatever you have in the advanced tab of that product in DAP, the redirect, what you set here, this is where users will land. So there are three things you need to keep in mind. When you create your login page, if you set a post login, DAP will always send users that log in through this form to this page. Otherwise, if you don't have anything here, then if a user has access to multiple products when they log in, DAP will send them to what you have in the member pages in DAP setup config page under member pages tab, post login, this is where they will land. But if the member has access to just one product, in that case, whatever you have set up for that product in the advanced tab, redirect what you have here, this is where they will land when they log in. Now say that when members log in, you want to send them to a member dashboard page or a my content page where users will find a list of all of their products and content. It's really easy to create a page like this using DAP. All you have to do is go to the member engagement page in DAP. We have a really cool member engagement builder. Just follow the steps there to create a member engagement dashboard. I'm going to click on this to quickly show you how this works. So give it any name you want and you can just select the default options initially. You can get this to display a list of all the courses and in-progress courses. Uh, enrolled courses and uh, products and services uh, might be interested in section. So it will create all of this for you. You don't have to create anything manually. All you have to do is just select the default options initially. Go ahead and uh, select the template and uh, you can just select all the default options just to see how it looks. And then you can always come back, edit and update the settings. If you don't want to display certain section, you can always remove it. It will give you a short code at the end. You can insert this short code on any page and you will have an instant member engagement dashboard. And you can uh, set your post login landing page to send users to this page. And uh, there is another option. If you go to the DAP member pages, you can create a My Content page. And just follow the steps, create new member pages, create a My Content page. And there are several templates here as well. I'm going to just edit this and show you my setting. You can see here, you can give it a name and there are several options here. You can hide certain products or uh, you can just display everything. And there are several templates here. There is one product per row template. There is multiple products per row template. So you can use this uh, to create a my content page where when users log in, they will find a list of all the products and they can click on the access content button to access the content under each product. So you can just create a my content page. Just follow the steps to create a my content page. There's a customizer that will allow you to customize the setting. So once you customize it, at the end, it's going to give you a short code and it will also publish the short code uh, on any page you want. And that's it, you'll have a My Content page and you can send users to this page when they log in. So it's completely up to you where you send users when they log in. There are different options. There are multiple options in DAP. Uh, so use the one that works best for you, all right? I hope this was helpful. My name is Veena Prashant. If you have any questions, please do let us know. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.